With me is the governorship candidate of the Accord Party, Dumolu Lubriggs. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Good afternoon. My, my pleasure. How are you? Fine, sir. Okay, so, sir, I'm going to be asking on behalf of the youth. We have heard different candidates of governorship, presidential. They come and they say almost the same things. They make promises and then we don't see anything. So I'm going to ask, what is the difference that you're bringing with a court party and your person? What difference do we expect from you? Well, you know, we have come out you know, with a mantra, right? Um, we agenda putting people first. And it, it is resonating, not because it's not coming out of the mouth of politicians, but because there are some of us that have, you know, some antecedents, you know, things that we've done in the past, right, through which you can judge us, you know. So, young people, right, over the years, right, have known me to be there for them, you know, in terms of helping them with scholarship grants, helping them take care of school fees issues, helping them, you know, with accommodation issues, helping them with different training programs and all of that, you know. And I've done all of these things in my private capacity, right, as do more little breaks. So when, when we say that well, these are the things that we're going to do when we get into government, right? for some for some reason you know they, you know they believe us, right? So yes, I know. I mean, sometimes when I talk to, I say, well, I don't know what happens to people when they get into office. And I pray that well, like, there are demons in those offices, you know, that when I get there, I those demons never see me. So yeah. I can continue to remain true to myself, you know, and be able to do for young people and for diverse people with all the things that we're, that we're promising them. All right, thank you, sir. If one thing you said is that you hope that when you do get into office, you will keep be true to yourself, and we trust that you will be true to yourself indeed. So, sir, as a speaker on this youth convention, how has the experience been? And I see that you have a passion for the youth, and it's great to see. So, how has the experience been as a speaker no, on this? No, good. Every every opportunity I have, you know, right, to try to make a contribution, right, in the lives of young people, right, I, I take advantage of it. You know, I wasn't even supposed to be here today. I had someone that engaged in Abuja. I had to catch the last flight yesterday to, to, to get out of Abuja because I wasn't even sure what the flight station would be here, you know, being in Abuja this morning. So I came here just because Keo says, look, young people will want to hear from you, you know. So I cancelled all the engagements you know, to come here. So for me, it's yet another opportunity, you know, that I had to try and, you know, interface with young people, tell them my own experiences, so that, I mean, they don't think that their background is why their backs are going to be on the ground. Yes. But, so they can also know that I was, you know, selling cool on the streets. My father was a truck pusher, you know. But of course, I mean, we took ourselves seriously. We had the trainings, you know, the opportunities were not there, but at some point the opportunities came. And once the opportunity comes, and then it needs preparation, right, then the rest, you know, is history. So all of us as God's people, God has given us certain talents which we need, you know, to oil, you know, to skill ourselves so that when those opportunities come, and they are bound to come at some point, right, I'll be prepared to make the most, you know, those opportunities. Thank you so much for the sacrifice you're making for us. We're really grateful for that. Thank you for talking to me, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My honor. Thank you. All right.